So you can see here, this is an apple tree that was pruned back hard a number of years ago. You can see all the, the butts where uh, pruning cuts have been made. But you can see it's healing over nicely. It's swelling around there and eventually that'll close up. Um, but you can see it's put on a very heavy vegetative response. So all of these new shoots that are more reddish are young and have a lot of energy to grow, especially since it was cut back so hard that uh, it probably didn't produce fruit or very much fruit for a while. So all of the tree's energy could go into growing. And so we kind of have a forest of upright shoots. And uh, one of the kind of instincts a lot of people would have would be to get rid of all those. But then what happens is they come back and then you have to do it year and year again. Uh, so rather than taking them all out, the best thing is to just thin them and allow certain ones to grow where you want them. So you can see the branches, the older branches on the trunk, they're going in pretty good directions. So anything that is growing, that's new growth, that's growing in that direction um, is something to leave. But then also, um, you don't want to take all the uprights out because the tree uh, is wanting to grow towards the sun. And if you take them all, then it'll just try to do it again. If you leave some, then the tree feels like, okay, I've got branches going towards the sun. I can put some branches out to make fruit and you start to get more balance. 